Bienvenidos a the Smithsonian Latino Center celebrating Day of the Dead 2020. Today we are going to share with you, wonderful audience, my altar, my ofrenda for Day of the Dead. For Day of the Dead in Mexico and the U.S., we put together our altares, offerings, ofrendas, with brilliant colors, thanks to our wonderful merry goals that just make it so beautiful, our offerings, altares. In our ofrendas, we have some elements that are important every year on November 1st and 2nd. We have papel picado with intricate designs, beautiful colors, yellow, pink, that represent the wind. The wind brings back our love deceased ones. So it vibrates along with the souls of the wonderful family members that are coming back this night. We have characters that always are present with us, such as Katrina, very elegant Katrina, with her wonderful hat and also beautiful colors in her dress. We have Copal that helps guide our love deceased ones. Copal is an incense, a resin made out of a, made out of a tree, the tree of Copal. And we also have light that has the same purpose, guiding our love deceased ones on November 1st and November 2nd. We have sugar skulls. And we also have food, the favorite food of our love deceased one. For example, pan de muertos, bread, different kind of fruit, corn, tamales, and hot cocoa, chocolate caliente, and other drinks. We enjoy putting together our altares every year with our family members. I remember as a child being so excited when it was October because I used to get together with my aunts and all my family and we were all working together on these altares offerings. So the fabric that we use for our altares have also these beautiful intricate designs in yellow color representing our marigolds, sempasuchiles. Here you can also see other kind of, of food, such as salsas, right, with our chili peppers and more hot cocoa and different clay pots with the food that was the favorite food of our love deceased ones. I also have a wonderful uh, ensemble of musicians to accompany and celebrate with us. A photo of our love deceased one is an important element in our altar. I hope, dear audience, that you enjoyed this short video and work on your own altar at home. For the Smithsonian Latino Center, celebrating Day of the Dead 2020, this is Shannon Caraza.